In the previous lessons, we learned how to write to the screen. But if we want to write output to a file, there are three steps that we must follow. The first step is opening the file using fopen. Inside of fopen, we list the file name that we're going to write to in single quotes, and we will also list the W flag. The W flag means that we're going to write to this file. It's also usually very convenient to give a file ID. This file ID can be any name you like, but it'll be associated with this file name, and it's usually very convenient to use this. We then write to the file using fprintf, and much of the fprintf command is, is the same. We still have texts and formats, variables and arrays that we want to print out, but instead of printing, the, printing them to the screen, we're going to print them to the file that's associated with this file ID. After we're done writing to the file, we will close the file using F close. In this example, we have an array B. It's a 3 by 2 array. We first open the file called myfile.txt. We could have called it anything we liked. And we use the W flag, meaning that we're going to write to myfile.txt. We have a file ID called file1, and this will be associated with myfile.txt. So in our fprintf statement, we have some formatting commands, and we have an array here, b prime, or the transpose of b, that we are going to write to file1, or myfile.txt, because file1 is associated with myfile.txt. And then we close the file using the fclose command. Notice that if we left file one off of the fprintf statement, we would just be printing off b transpose to the screen. After we execute these commands, if we opened up myfile.txt, we would see the following information. Let's go back to the example that we examined in the previous lesson. So we have x is a x is a 1 by 6 array containing the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. y is just double the values of x. It still has 6 array elements. Table xy is a 2 by 6 array, and we can print it to the screen um, using this, this format here. So if we run the code, let's see what happens. We get values of x, values of y, table xy, and when we have printf table xy with this format, we, it looks like the following right here. If you're not sure why table xy is displayed in this fashion using this format, please go to the previous lesson. So we can now write this to a file instead by saying fopen. And let's call our file myfile.txt, but we can call it whatever you like. And we'll give it a file ID. I'll call this file1. And if I want to write to file1, I can do so by putting file1 right here in the fprintf statement. And we close the file with fclose. So I open the file with fopen, I print to the file using fprintf, and I close the file using file1. And you see here in the lower left corner, a file called my file has been created, and if we open it, we see that it has the same content as what we displayed to the screen earlier. So if we get rid of this file one right here and we re-execute the code, we will both display or excuse me, we'll both display the values of table XY at this format here on the screen because I don't say file one, but we'll also write to the file here. In the next lesson, 
we'll learn how to read data in from the file. 